Thank you very much, Peter. My question is to the Minister of Energy. The Minister will know that hydro rates went up again yesterday. May 1st, hydro rates went up. And the latest line, unbelievable line from the government, is that the increases are due to the fact that people didn't use enough electricity. Mm -hmm. So in this liberal energy system, people are penalized when it's a cold winter, they are penalized when it's a warm winter, and they are punished even more when they conserve electricity. Will the minister finally admit that the people's skyrocketing energy rates are not a result of weather, but the colossal mismanagement of Ontario's electricity system under your, his guidance, and will he commit to a real plan to stop abusing Ontarians with skyrocketing hydro rates? You see it, please. You see it, please. Thank you, Minister of Energy. Speaker, the member is correct that uh, there was a 2.5% uh, increase, Mr. Speaker. Uh, and as I said last week, Mr. Speaker, and the week before, Mr. Speaker, the member ignores the fact that if you look at comparisons to other provinces, BC Hydro rates increased by 4% on April 1, 2016. Saskatchewan Power rates approved an increase of 5% throughout 2015, Mr. Speaker. Manitoba Hydro applied for a rate increase of 3.95% as of April 1, 2016. Mr. Speaker, and Newfoundland Power applied for a rate increase of 3.6% uh, for residential customers as of July 1, 2016. And as I said earlier today, Mr. Speaker, Northern Ontario has the lowest industrial rates, third lowest industrial rates uh, in North America, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Supplementary. The minister has to stop with the numbers games. Quebec's hydro rates could, could go up 300% and they'd still be lower than ours. You know, stop with the numbers game because you are inflicting real pain on Ontario families. I had a gentleman in my constituency office on Friday who said this hydro fiasco that you've created here is tearing families apart. I spoke to a woman yesterday in my constituency who works at a food bank in Eganville. She said 30% increase at the food bank. They ran out. And when you talk to people and ask them why they're at the food bank, it's because they have to make a choice. If we pay our hydro bill, we can't afford the food. That's what you've done here in the province of Ontario. Will you show some compassion and stop going down the disastrous road that you built for Ontario families? You see it, please. You see it, please. Thank you. Minister. The member knows that we've created a number of significant programs, Mr. Speaker, to help consumers, including removal of debt retirement charge at the beginning of the year, Mr. Speaker. We've created the Ontario Electricity Support Program, Mr. Speaker, for low and modest income families that would save them an additional $360 per year off their bills, or $430 when combined with the removal of the debt retirement charge. But I do want to thank the uh, Conservative Party again, Mr. Speaker, for supporting our nuclear refurbishment program. Program, which sees over the next 30 years, Mr. Speaker, an average price of 7.7 .7 cents per kilowatt hour, Mr. Speaker. Some people here have W's. Speaker, thanking the Conservative Party for supporting our initiative that, uh, in nuclear refurbishment, which shows 7.7 .7 cents per kilowatt hour, Mr. Speaker, on average over the next 30 years, Answer. and that is clean energy, Mr. Speaker. We're taking a lot of other steps, Mr. Speaker, to reduce the cost of electricity, including the new price Thank of you. wind, Mr. Speaker, which is comparable to the rest of the generation. Thank you. 